Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. Amid the continued spread of COVID-19 on the island, the provincial government has secured nearly 300 additional isolation beds. The Ministry of Health and Welfare accepted the Jeju Provincial Government's proposal on the 31st of last month to redesignate infectious disease hospitals and adjust the number of beds at Jeju National University Hospital. As a result, the Jeju Medical Center and Sogipo Medical Center were redesignated as infectious disease hospitals, which secured an additional 251 beds respectively. Meanwhile, Jeju National University Hospital also added 46 beds to make a total of 68 beds available for infectious diseases. The number of COVID-19 treatment beds in the province has significantly increased from 22 to nearly 320. More than 700 safety hazards have been reported on Jeju due to the damage caused by this year's number 9 typhoon, Typhoon Maisak. According to the Jeju Fire Safety Headquarters, 752 cases have been reported and resolved from Wednesday to Thursday morning. The cases include 112 accidents related to signboards, 99 calls about electricity facilities, 80 cases of broken trees and 20 reports of flooded roads. A total of 28 calls asking for rescue were submitted, resulting in 35 people who received assistance. No casualties were reported. The second round of Jeju COVID-19 Emergency Support Fund has been paid to more than half of Jeju's residents so far. According to the Jeju Provincial Government, the online application for disaster support funds opened on the 24th of last month and 36.7 billion won, which amounts to about 58 percent of the total, has already been distributed to 150,000 households as of September 2nd. The province plans to cancel the five-day rotation system based on the last digit of birth year for online applications on the 5th, and the system will be open to receive all online applications on a rolling basis. Moreover, starting from next week, applications will also be available on-site at local community centers. Once on-site applications become available, the five-day rotation system will apply for one week until the 13th, after which the regulations will be lifted and residents will be able to apply at any time. In a neighborhood along the coast of Jeju City, a black dragon raises its head from the sea. This is not part of some new disaster film, though. It's a famous Jeju landmark called Yongduam, or Dragon's Head Rock. This basalt rock formation is 10 meters tall and 30 meters long. The wind and the sea have carved its unique shape. It is designated Jeju Monument number 57. Dragon's Head Rock is a very popular tourist attraction. Its proximity to the airport and ample parking make it an excellent destination for arriving and departing travelers. Just east of Dragon's Head Rock is an area called Yongyang, or Dragon Pool, which is said to have been the dragon's home. It is a beautiful spot favored by couples who enjoy crossing a small footbridge there. Black dragons are a symbol of bravery, hope, and good luck. So, if you do visit Yongduam this season, be sure to make a wish while there. It might just come true. Todd Thacker, KCTV. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E! News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great weekend and we'll see you again next week.